Welcome back to Let's Leave You, Piana. You have lots of stuff going on in here. You haven't even quite gone back to what we started doing in this garden before we left. Because I got all distracted with having to clean all this stuff up from the new garden expansion. Did I accidentally go over that? Oh. Okay. A little bit more? No, it's more than a little bit, I think. Yep. Well, in some places. But let's see what we can do about this grass that I don't want here. This is a pretty... Who? Thank you, but... Who just got eaten? I don't care about tap flies, whatever. I don't have water! It's just eating my tap flies and that's it? I might just add more water so these guys will become residents and they'll stop killing my ta tap flies. All the town have tap flies anyways. Oh! I thought you actually bought this thing! You a helping hand. I like the way you keep trying. Even though you don't have the natural talent that I did. Thanks. Your shovel is even stronger now. I hope you've learned how to use it properly, or you could end up breaking something important. I don't know what he means by stronger. I've never actually been sure what these handles actually do. Really, I thought you bought this one, though, from, um... What's his name? Ivor. Because most of the endgame stuff you do, most of we're not quite endgame, but... Oh! Huh, this isn't as good as I thought it was. Haha, <laughs> see? Stainless steel? You don't make a stainless steel handle, that's the worst idea. It's neither ergonomic nor pretty. So I can get all... creasy. Let's see if we can... Although it does have a pretty consistent aesthetic across the whole... shovel now, which I actually kind of like. I wish there was something at the tip of the shovel, though. It's weird how the shovel in this game doesn't have, like, any handle on it that you can actually just hold on the top. It looks like a really awkward shovel to use because of that. Now, there is that thing in Ivor's shop that you can buy that actually will end up being placed on the top there. CDOS, come on, man. No! Stop it! Peter! Dude, you'll get to... Thank you for closing it, CDOS. There's nothing for you in here. This is taking up a massive portion of this garden now, though. This is such a small corner before. Rachel's in there. I am going to want to keep breeding these guys. I was planning on getting Master Breeder, or Master Remits for those guys, but just didn't get around to doing it. Uh, what was I was I was talking about doing a moment ago, though? So I wanted to expand some water. They'll just add a pond here. Just let those lick totes become residents, I think, so that they'll stop. So they won't eat tap flies again. But I, well, I'll have to think out where I actually want lick totes to be residents. I'll also fill another pond, because I just don't like its location. But... So it wouldn't be a bad idea to have a more central pond. I think I have to move this thing too. Let's so put something over here, which I might. I can actually have the pond be over here. I just have more than one. I don't want to dedicate a ton of space here to water. But I want to have this log stay a little more natural looking. Who keeps getting eaten? Oh, that's why it was lacking a moth drop. Oh, okay, I was planning on breeding those guys eventually, but that's cool. Get this guy a friend. I still I have not decided entirely on whether I'm gonna, where I'm going to have sherbats stay either in terms of which garden. In fact, I might just. Oh, really? We haven't even finished the other one yet, though. 
We haven't even made the one. Oh man, I thought I was gonna crack it there. It's pretty obvious what he does with these eggs. Oh, well, there you go. The third minute, she like shards of it and whatnot. I'm afraid that you have attracted a sour macaracoon. Jeez, guys. Man, these alien freaking man. He's just thinking this is fine. <laughs> just walking along. Yep, on fire. I thought you were gonna. So you finally get to see those guys. Jeez. Could we not? So I guess we'll just have to wait for that other Sherbat to join us. See, because we have a preferable too. We have multiple Sarah Pinatas. Yeah. I want to look at that description though. Thing is though, we haven't gotten these mushrooms yet. So how do we... What does one do? Fit them all. He doesn't say anything about how to get these mushrooms. Doesn't say anything. Just, hey, mushroom. I haven't seen mushroom seeds or anything. Same thing with Borash. Which I think we need to make Sweet Tooth's breed or something. Mm. I can't see right here. Mm. Am I just, is it just the water in the house? I don't think so. Because otherwise I could have started breeding those guys. Maybe I was going to start breeding those guys in the water garden. I don't know. But we have more stuff to do here first. And I also need bull rushes. Yeah, bull rushes for the... What's it called? The big hippo one. It is in fact a thief. I wish you told me a little bit more about what they actually do, or at least hinted at what they actually do to the garden. There are a few sours I think we never really saw what they actually do because I just took care of them too quickly. Oh, I'm, I am getting some master romance rewards. Okay, so that's more reason to do the master romancer stuff. Yeah, so weird, weird stuff with these high level pianos, level six for this one. So this has a. That's weird. It has a base value of 2100. You can't have him be a part of your garden, though. So look at this Sherbat. This one's 1000. Is the Sour Sherbat the same value? Yes, okay. Flappy, but in a sinister way. What's the other one called, by the way? The uh, Hippo? Uh, Chipopanos, I think it was. Yeah. Anyways. So I don't know what to do about this guy. I'm so probably just going to kill him when I'm racing him. The happiness penalty is better than anything else they probably do, I imagine. Apologies for making people sad. Something fixed up the scar yet, though. So I believe... Yeah, here we go. You can just dig this right up against the wall here. I think that'll look alright. Have it be a bit more gradual on the other side. See the grass getting all messed up. Wish it look. Wish the border along the water looked a bit more natural. So this might be my one, my only body of water here. Why do I have cluckles here? Or whatever they're called. There, I've played so many games with so many different names for animals. Yeah, at least for, these are the rabbits. Never mind. Okay. I was thinking, why do I? Have, it looks like a chick coop. I was thinking, why is there? Why do I have those chickens here? I don't know what good those would do me. Right now, I already had plans to have those in another garden. Okay, so fill this in. And we'll fill in the other one too, probably. And fix up the grass, and then you finally get back to matters related to breeding these rabbits like rabbits. And we might worry later about moving the firebrands and whatnot that no longer sit on the 
edge of this place like intended. Sorry if I sound a little bit nasally lately, especially these next couple episodes too. Next three after this one. I have a little bit of a stuffy nose lately, but I think I'm okay today. Oh, this hasn't to record stuff. In fact, it would have been a bad idea to record stuff yesterday, but I thought I'd be okay today. There is See us. Can't help but wonder, did you name yourself CDOS or somebody else named you CDOS? What's this one? Oh, really? Never grew this one. I should grow it then. I should also probably fertilize it. For the experience. Ivor! It's not a very tall tower of sour over there. I like to tame more pinatas, but it hasn't been happening. Let's make that sound. Grow, man. This is a really slow growing plant. Man. Huh. Darn plants and their water. Wish I could water it more. I should at some point buy these upgrades. Star's head is actually kind of useful, except I don't expect to use it. It's actual utility. Chocolate stuff is cool novelty with an actual application, but I still don't really care for it much. Also, the picture on this bag is actually the old Ivor. The beggar Ivor. It's odd. Are you... Do you have your stuff? Do I don't have enough water? Seriously? I can expand this. You're to add more. Can't tell if this is ready for more yet. You're gonna have to cut the episode in just a moment too. Good fortune. Somehow. Yeah, I should buy those shovel upgrades eventually. No, right now I actually really like how my shovel looks. <laughs> Oh wait, you just throw fertilizer out multiple times, don't you? Yeah. I was saying this was like, uh, bushes and whatnot. So is the Snapdragon. I don't remember having Snapdragons. I don't see them, I don't think. Yeah, this is one of those that you just... This is actually just a flower, I believe. Or something. I believe it's a flower. Oh, uh, some flower died. So you just Stop. stick fertilizer on a few times and it's good. I think. I only got one award though, I thought. Oh wait, but I think you might only... Well, I keep forgetting how these work for, for some reason. But you get multiple bonus growths for all these other flowers. So I expect Snapdragon will be the same. Yeah, I got everything. Okay, cool. Level 6 plant. It's probably worth a decent amount, then. Can you help us? Hey, Pinata. Cool. Alright, so we'll see you next time, next episode. Who gets to go? Bye, guys.